What's up guys, Black Scout Survival. And before we get in today's video, I'm awesome subscribers, go hit that thumbs up, please. Show me your support, I appreciate it. All of you that uh, considers Crocs part of your workout attire, hit that thumbs down so we know who you are. Anyhow, today's video, we're gonna be talking about wearing a pistol and uh, you know someone trying to take it and how you can uh, defend that. Um, a few different ways. This could be law enforcement, military, maybe a concealed weapons carrier. You know, obviously a concealed weapons carrier is going to be closer to the body. So law enforcement, military guys will wear a pistol like this. And we're going to just show uh, a couple quick techniques on how to uh, defend against someone trying to uh, take your pistol from the most vulnerable position. Now, you, someone could take your pistol from various positions, but most of the time it's going to be someone trying to grab it from the back. Now, I know some holsters have that, you know, lock so it won't come out but uh, not everybody does that, or if they do get lucky. You don't wanna just leave the possibility up to the holster doing the job. You need to try to defend it, okay? So we're gonna show some techniques. I got my good friend, Black Scout Commando Zach, to come help me. So let's go ahead and demonstrate this. So someone tries to come into the back and tries to grab a pistol. A lot of times someone may try to turn in, inward. And if you do that, they can get the pistol on you and then you're screwed, right? So what you wanna do is do something called the pin and twist. So he tries to grab, you're gonna pin, trap the pistol against your body and then you're gonna twist this way and you can push this way and uh, you know, take him down if you have to. So we'll show again. So you could either kind of grab and, and bring it into you so he can't grab it, try to pull it out, Zach. So it's trapped against my body and then I can twist this way as well and just hit and just back up and draw my weapon. Utilizing the same technique, the pin and twist. So you can trap and grab and push up against your body or, or pin down against it, okay? Pin his hand up against it and just twist and push away, okay? Now what you can also do if you're carrying something like the Emerson Karambit, you can use it in, in conjunction. Now, I do recommend that if you're, you know, definitely law enforcement, you have a blade on your non-firearm uh, side so you can use it in the case that you, you can't get to your firearm. So what I like about the Emerson Cromit is you could also just have it in your pocket and so you can grab that retention ring and, and get it out. So it doesn't have to be visible. That's one huge plus to that. So you don't even know it's there. You go in your pocket and pull it out and, and you're ready to go. So, so yeah. Zach comes and tries to grab my pistol. I go ahead and pinch down, pin, I'm sorry, pin and twist grab my Emerson crumb and I can cut away and then draw the weapon. So you can see here the good other thing about the crumb, but like in the first crumb video we're talking about, I can use this with a firearm. I can change mags, I can do all that kind of stuff because of that retention ring there. And so I can cut away, show that one more time. So as I pin and twist, I can cut his appendages, get them off me, and now I can do, do business. Do God's work as they say. So. Anyhow, pin and twist, guys, um, very good technique. Something you can also do, I've seen at times, people use. I'm not, I don't necessarily think this is a gross motor skill. This is more of a fine motor skill, but you can do it. Zach, we can just show just for demo purposes. Is grab that hand and then twist and then take him to the ground. So you can, if you find motor skills, you can do that. If you have a retention holster, you can maybe do that. If it's not a retention, then I'd probably do the pin and twist. So anyhow guys, hope this helps all our uh, law enforcement and uh, military guys be safer out there. And uh, please subscribe to our channel and thanks for watching Black Scout Survival.